so hello friends welcome back to the channel and in this video we are going to learn about the introduction to concept learning and general to specific ordering so this is the fifth video of our playlist and uh, if you have not watched the previous video then please go to the playlist section on our channel and then you can find all those videos so yeah let's go further and learn about this topic so what is the agenda for today's topic first we are going to see the introduction then concept learning then about general to specific ordering and then we will know why is it important and and finally we will see the summary so introduction concept learning concept learning is a fundamental process in human cognition where we learn to recognize understand categories or concepts in the world around us think of it as learning to distinguish between different types of animals shapes or even abstract ideas like friendship to make this learning process more efficient we often use a strategy known as general to specific ordering so this concept learning and general to specific ordering are related to each other actually to make this concept concept learning more easier we use general to specific ordering concept i think you are clear with whatever i have read that is there on the screen that means we are going to um learn how to distinguish between i mean the machine learning model is going to learn how to distinguish between different types of animals shapes or even it can also distinguish between uh, ideas like uh, friendships or uh, like which are not a uh, real world object right in this slide i guess you are not uh, understanding that why did i mention friendship there so we will know about that so by mentioning friendship i aim it to emphasize that concept learning is a versatile cognitive process applicable to a wide range of subjects and ideas not just physical objects so this broadens the students understanding of the concept learning process and its real world relevance so as i said it is not only like the machine learning model is not only able to distinguish and make relationships between only physical objects right it is also able to distinguish and make relations between non physical objects in the real world also so let's go further concept learning concept learning is like building a mental library of categories just as organize books on a shelf by varieties we mentally organize information by creating categories or concepts for example when we learn the concept of birds we understand that it includes various specific birds like eagle sparrow and penguins and more so concept learning is like it is like uh, organizing books in our mental sh shelf so how it is first of all let's say you learn about bird but you are just learning the general things like introduction to what bird is and uh, something about it so you, what you will do you will put this book of bird into the general category and uh, after that you decide to learn more about birds right after that what you will do is you will search online or you will learn it from the books then i mean the real books then what you will do is you will make one another shelf known as birds in which you will learn everything about birds and this is the specialized shelf where you are just learning about birds so first you learned about it and you kept the book in a general category now you learn more about it and now you kept it into another shelf which is a specialized shelf only for birds now you learn more about birds like specific birds like eagle or sparrow as i mentioned and penguins then what you will do 
you will make another shelf by giving the name of the birds that eagle eagle has these features and all that so according to that you will make a shelf named eagle and you will put the book over there and it will contain all the information of eagle one more you will create a name called sparrow and then you will put a book and that book will contain all information about sparrows so that's how general concept learning works so it is like building a mental library so that all books are organized in their shelves so that it will be easy to access all that information from those shelves so let's go to next slide general to specific ordering now imagine you are organizing your bookshelf you start with general categories like fiction and non fiction these are broad concepts like i said you just learnt about birds so you kept it into a a uh, general category right in the same manner here you learnt about fiction and non fiction and you kept with kept this information into your general category shelf next then you further categorize them into more specific genres like mystery or science fiction so first you learnt about fiction and non fiction you kept it into general category shelf and now you are learning about mystery and science fiction now you are making another shelves named mystery or science fiction and you are keeping all the information book into those specific shelves so this process of moving from general to specific is what we call general to specific ordering i guess you have understood this so let's go to the next slide in concept learning we often follow a similar path we start with a broad un understanding of a concept and gradually refine it by adding more specific details for example we learn the general concepts of fruit and then recognize the specific fruits like apples bananas and oranges the same example is over here first you learn about fruits and you keep it into general general shelf and after that you learn about apple you learn about grapes you learn about banana and you keep those books in the specific shelves so that is the same example so now let's discuss why is it important so general to specific ordering is a powerful strategy because it helps us organize our knowledge hierarchically it allows us to grasp complex ideas by breaking them down into manageable chunks when learning new concepts we often begin with general general principles and then dive into specifics to gain a deeper understanding so why is it important now you are learning about let's say fruits only so now you learnt uh, the general things about fruits that fruits has some colors it has some taste and uh, it has different shapes and all that so you kept into general category shelf but now you want to learn more about fruits now what you will do is you cannot keep uh, all the books into a general shelf right like if you learnt about apple and you learnt about banana you cannot put all those books into a general shelf only but it should be easy to access right so for that what you will do is you will make another shelves for specific fruits so that it you it will be easy to access those books and you can read it so it is important for us to access it right you cannot put every book inside a general Uh, inside your general shelf only so when learning new concepts we often begin with general principles and then dive into specifics to gain a deeper understanding summary in summary concept learning is about categorizing and understanding the world around us and general to specific ordering is helpful approach that guides us from broad concept to detail specifics it's like arranging books on a mental shelf making it easier for us to learn and remember new information 
so that's it i hope you have understood whatever i have explained in this video it is like these are the general things you often see all these things in your real life also so yeah that's it for this video and uh, if you understood everything then please click that like button and subscribe to the channel for more such videos and also don't forget to share it with your friends so yeah that's it for today i'll see you in next video thanks for watching